Chapter 1 Food and Digestion All living things need food to live. Food helps them to grow, to give energy to work and to keep them fit and healthy. The food contains substances called nutrients such as carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals. Food also contains roughage and water. Nutrients present in food Carbohydrates Carbohydrates are nutrients which provide us energy. Sugar and starch are two types of carbohydrates. Rice, wheat, maize, potatoes, etc. contain starch. Fruits like banana, grapes and mango are rich in sugar. People like laborers who do a lot of physical work require more carbohydrates. Growing children also need carbohydrates. Fats Fats are also energy-giving foods. They give us more energy than carbohydrates. Ghee, oil, butter and nuts contain fats. Fats helps to keep our body warm. Extra fats can be stored in our body for future use. However, too much fat in the body can cause many diseases. Therefore, we should avoid taking fat-rich food in our diet. Proteins Proteins are nutrients which help to build our body. Proteins are bodybuilding foods. Therefore, children need more protein in their diet. Proteins help our body to grow and repair the worn out or damaged parts. Meat, cheese, eggs, fish, peas and pulses contain protein. Vitamins and Minerals Vitamins and minerals are the nutrients which help our body to stay healthy and fit. Hence, they are also called the protective foods. Our body needs vitamins and minerals in small quantities. Vitamins help our body to fight the diseases. Minerals help in the formation of teeth and bones. Calcium, potassium, iodine, sodium and iron are some minerals required by our body. Foods rich in vitamins and minerals are fruits, vegetables, meat, fish, liver and milk. Foods rich in vitamins and minerals. Fruits Meat and eggs Wheat Vegetables Fish Roughage Roughage is the fiber present in the food we take such as fruits, vegetables, ground rice and whole wheat bread. Our body needs roughage for the proper functioning of the digestive system. It helps to remove the waste materials from the body. Water Water is essential for our body to function properly. Three-fourths of our body weight is water. A balanced diet A diet which has the right amounts of all the nutrients that is carbohydrates, fats, proteins, vitamins and minerals together with refuge and water is called a balanced diet. Digestion of food The various food items that we eat cannot provide us energy directly. Instead, they are first broken down into simpler forms. This process of breaking down of food into a simpler form is called digestion. The different organs which are involved in this process together form the digestive system. The digested food is then absorbed by the blood and taken to all the parts of our body. Let's study how the process of digestion takes place. The digestive process begins in the mouth while we are chewing the food. Our teeth bite and chew the food and break it into smaller pieces. The tongue mixes the food well with the liquid secreted by the salivary glands called saliva. It changes the insoluble starch in the food into soluble sugar. It is due to this reason why the starch foods like bread and rice taste sweet after we chew them. The food from the mouth goes down and food bites into the stomach. Our stomach is a muscular bag in which the food gets turned. The proteins present in the food are broken down into simpler form by the help of the digestive juices present in the stomach. The stomach passes to the long coiled tube called the small intestine. 
it too produces digestive juices which get mixed with the food. The liver and the pancreas also pour their juices into the small intestine. These juices help to completely digest the food. The digestive food passes through the walls of the small intestine into the bloodstream. The blood absorbs the nutrients of the food and carry it to all the body parts. The undigested food passes from the small intestine passes to the large intestine. The blood vessels in the walls of the large intestine absorb the extra water. Finally, the semi-solid base called feces is passed from the body through the anus. Cooking food Some foods such as fruits and certain vegetables can be eaten raw while other types of food need to be cooked before eating. Foods such as rice and potatoes are boiled. Idlis are steamed. We sometimes roast the potatoes, brinjals as well as meat. Cooking improves the taste and flavor of food. It also makes the food easier to chew and digest. It also kills the germs in the food. Things should be remembered while cooking. We should not wash the fruits and vegetables after cutting them. We should not throw the water in which we soak the pulses. This water contains vitamins and should be used for cooking. We should not overcook the food as overcooking destroys the nutrients. Moreover, while boiling, take just enough water so that the water which has absorbed the nutrients should not be thrown away. Food preservation Food preservation is the process of treating food in a way that preserves its value for a long time. If we do not preserve the food, it may get spoiled. Some ways to preserve cooked and uncooked food items are given below. Boiling Canning Refrigeration Salting Jellying Drying